Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to discuss about time server in RHL7. Okay, so it is simple. There is nothing much in NTP or time server configuration. But why I'm preparing this video because in RHL7 it is a little different configuration as compared to the previous release in uh, RHL. Whereas uh, if you check in RHL 4 to 6, we used to use something called NTP and also there is a daemon which is running associate is something called NTPD daemon okay so that is what we are using in earlier version but in RHL, RHL 7 they have introduced an enhanced version of NTP which is called crony so there are some features which I can I'm going to show you here in one uh, gedit file and not only those two features which uh, allow, which can tell you that to use crony there are many more okay for now I'm just going to say uh, show you a few and also show you how to configure uh, crony and uh, the configuration file related crony okay so there is one gedit file which I have uh, prepared here and if I go to this tab and here you'll be able to see Okay, so one of the main difference between the NTP and Crony is the algorithm. The algorithm which is used in Crony, it is much an enhanced version which is uh, if you compare with the NTPD algorithm. So that is why uh, that I had introduced the Crony in RHL 7 and those features uh, mostly Crony can do well when external time reference are only intermediately access accessible whereas NTP need regular polling of time reference to work well okay so what we do actually whenever we use a time server usually time server is some somewhere in remote side or uh, we use uh, one or two time servers and all the clients which we configured with the time servers uh, in remote side so basically it is not local it is most of the time it is the remote time server which we use so in, in that case crony works better than ntpd that is why they have introduced this new uh, version enhanced version so apart from that can uh, crony can perform well even the network is congested for long period of time for example, uh, there is a network latency in your uh, environment and there are many clients try to use the NTP servers and there is a network lat latency also. So in that case also it is uh, it is it is performed at well uh, synchronization which compares to NTPD daemon. So that is why the other region which we use chronid and also crony can usually synchronize the clock faster than the better time uh, accuracy so the synchronization when we when we uh, just specify the ntp server and we start synchronize your client server with ntp servers that synchronization period is faster than the NT ntpd algorithm which we were using previously and also crony qu quickly adapt to sudden changes of the rate of the clock for example due to change in the temperature of the uh, crystal oscillator whereas NTP may need a long time settle down again so this is something like uh, example when you are using uh, some of your client system and you are trying to sync with NTP servers and you have already configured NTP servers and once uh, some uh, there is a changes in NTP servers and uh, the NTP servers which you are using is decommissioned and now they have using a uh, different NTP servers and now you wanted to sync with those new NTP servers so in that case when you sync with them it is much uh, much faster than the NTPD so those are the difference not only those uh, four difference which I have mentioned here there are many you can go to Red Hat side and check for those uh, features and advantage okay so for configuring a time server what you need it uh, need, need is a crony 
RPM. So easily when you install your Red Hat system, it will automatically install. So if I just look for crony RPM here, I would be able to see that package is uh, that package. I'm just querying for the package here, and you can see there's a crony package version two which is installed. Okay, so now if I wanted to check what are the packages uh, or configuration associated with this package, so what are the configuration file for crony if I just wanted to see, so I will run this command and I would be able to see there are three files, configuration files under this location and if I just get for this file, I would be able to see the information about the option which can be used and also the server details if I just grab minus V and exclude the hast thing and I can able to see these are the server which is default it is going to sync with and there are uh, four RHEL NTP pool servers mentioned already so instead earlier in RHL 6 or 5 uh, version which to use uh, file call ntp.com so that file is not there and also if you just try to run ntpq minus p usually we run this command to check the status or uh, which ntp service it is syncing with so that command is not there so instead of those commands there are some other new commands introduced which is called time dead ctl so if you run this command and simply enter it and you will be able to see the information about your time details so currently you can see the time zone is an edt est time zone set and also it is saying that ntp it is ntp is enabled and syncing with ntp server and other information about like whether dst is enabled or not okay so that is one way you can check and also if you want if you run time that ctl status you would be able to see the same information okay so now how to change and set the time setting so first what we have to do you have to you have to um, configure your time server or ntp server information here so you have to specify those server information so i have already updated the servers are already there, there default which is going and syncing with this NTP server so you have to update those server information here and once you uh, update the information those information you have to start the service so service is uh, nothing but crony d so if you just run say, status crony d and i can able to see that crony d is running and if you want to check uh, this is the service which is running and the other information okay so now let me go to uh, the gedit file here and now if for example uh, if it is it is not installed so what you have to do you just have to install the package called crony and you have to check the status whether it is running or not time set, uh, status and it should be like yeah so running or not and once you can see if it is not running you can start it and the time zone information I showed you here that uh, it is set to America so time zone time dead list uh, list time zone zones so if I run this command, you'll be able to see all the time zones which is uh, available, right? So as per your country, you can go ahead and set. And if you wanted to set it as UTC, you can also set it to UTC. So for example, what I'm going to do, I'm going to set the time zone information or the time zone to something else. So currently, I'm on India so let me set the time zone for India where it is oh 
or maybe I can grab for Kolkata. So this is the time zone uh, for India, which basically we uh, set. So for that, uh, how you will set it? So if you just run time dot uh, time date ctl minus minus help, you will be able to see the option. So here the, here are the options through which you can set the time zone. So this is for listing and this is for setting. So for example, now I'm going to a set the time zone. So I'll just do time that ctl and I'll just press in, uh, insert. And after that, I will just set it like this. Sorry. Uh, copy and paste here. Then, so I have set the time zone to Kolkata, Asia, and if I just do a date, and I can able to see it is in IST. And there are some other option or flag you can use if you wanted to see the time zone in UTC. The currently uh, in IST timing it is like 12, uh, 12 o'clock at night, and if you just run like this, you'd be able to see the. It'll it'll just simply convert into UTC, and you'd be able to see the time in UTC here. So this is one uh, command uh, where you can uh, set your time and apart from that those options you can go ahead and check and for NTP probably currently uh, if I just do time John uh, time date status or this uh, say time John status here here I can see that uh, NTP is enable and if you wanted to disable it or enable it then those option you probably going to use uh, like help time dead set NTP equal to no so I'm just setting that it is not going to use the NTP and simply it will use the local uh, local timing so here it is saying no so that is how you can change it and to enable it I'm just saying yes and to query whether it is syncing with which NTP service there is uh, the command I that command is also worked in a, a previous uh, distribution so that command is NTP net and you can query for the server uh, for now I will just query for the first server RHEL dot NTP uh, RHEL dot pool dot ntp dot org uh, let me see what is the server here crony dot conf so this is the server ntp that minus q and let me just try to it is not syncing it seems let me just try to do it for same thing let me just restart the NTP server system CTL stop crony crony dot D and let me again start it and check the status whether it is running or not it is running and now if I just query NTP that minus minus help to check the option server minus E delay K P for simple username or simply if I just specify it is also not working probably because of uh, the regulation is not working currently 
and let me check the IP first okay it is because of uh, there is no connection with internet so let me just bring up the interface ENS33 and let me check now so this is my IP given by the DSCP server and my NTP service are already running and let me check now whether I can able to see so it seems like it is trying to connect with this NTP servers and query back and there is a output you can see there is that this NTP uh, this server RS server is now currently syncing with this server and offset value is this one and other information so those are the basic steps or command you can use for NTP and let me see what are the other things you can do so you ensure your crony service is start and also enable so let me enable it system ctl enable crony so I just enabled it and after that those are the file information you can check which are the files associated with uh, crony and sometimes if uh, your system running database or some uh, time synchronization mismatch with your hardware uh, hardware clock then probably you have to adjust those timing so for that if you just run as SW clock this is basically looking for the bias clock which you have it and it is giving the time and if you just check for your current time the OS time so if I uh, running a dead it is giving a dead uh, time for my OS so you can see there is a difference here it is uh, okay it is uh, correct only because it is in 24 hours it's showing in 24 hours that is why it is uh, 12, uh, 0, 0, 30 and just in two second difference and if you wanted to sync it uh, you can do in two way uh, vice versa first like from system clock to hardware clock okay so it is uh, sys2 h for hardware c for clock if you wanted to sync your time uh, this in system which you have configured with hardware then you have to run this command and if you want to do vice versa you just have to run this command so let me just uh, let me just copy this first one and uh, you can run it and let's see let me just paste it here so it will going to sync it so those are the things you probably need it basically you don't need to do this uh, most of the time if you are configuring with NTP servers there won't be any issues and basically it, it looks for this file whenever you are using a hardware clock uh, timing those hardware clock time information you'll be able to see here okay and apart from that the most important thing is the NTP which I was talking about in previous version which uh, we are using it that NTP also you can install but at the same time you cannot use both NTP or crony okay so it is not like in RHL 7 you cannot use NTP you can also use NTP but since it is an older version and it is replaced to a new enhanced version called crony so it is always better to use crony and it has a lot of new features okay so that is why Red Hat introduced crony otherwise they would still use NTP and if you wanted to use it so by default your system uh, your system will not install the NTP RPM and you have to install it so there is a NTP package so if I just do install and see there is a package here and you can install it so I'm just saying no here so since I'm using NTP so it depends on you which uh, which one you wanted to use but I will still recommend you to use the crony one because it is a new version enhanced version and uh, introduced by Red Hat so that is why I will recommend to use crony 
okay so thank you so much i think uh, this is it for my uh, this is it for this video if you have any doubts please let me know please uh, uh, write your comments in the youtube comment section and uh, let me know okay thank you so much for watching this video have a good day